Good afternoon, my dear student. That today I discuss about the remaining portion from the chapter two. That which one we start to revise from the from my last class. That in last class we divide. Uh, we have to revise the first that portion that what are the continents? What is the Pangaea, Pantheras, the supercontinent? Now today I am going to discuss from this chapter that the from the plate. That what is the plate? Now the plateaus are the different types. The plateaus are not in order set. The plate you know the plateau when it made that time is a middle portion is a flat top and the both the side is a sloping area and it make this plateau portion. So that is why the plateau is also known as the table land. What is called the plateau? Table land. Now why it's known the plateau is also called the table land because for its shape. The topmost part of the plateau is the flat in nature or the flat in shape. That is why plateau is also known the name of table land. Okay, you understand it? Now the next is the plateaus are also the different types. What are the different types? The first one is the intermountain plateau. What is the intermountain plateau? That which plateau is located or surrounded by the mountains. Or which plateau is located between the mountains? These plateaus are known as the intermountain plateaus. The example of the Tibet plateau. That is the example of intermountain plateau. The second one is the Piedmont plateau. That is the, those plateaus are located at the foothills of a mountain. This type of plateaus are known as the Piedmont plateau. Again, I repeat, those plateaus are formed at the foothills of a mountain. This type of plateaus are known as the Piedmont plateau. Like the example of the Piedmont plateau, that is the Patagonian plateau. The example of the Piedmont plateau. Third one is the uh, third one is the tectonic plateau. Which plateau that is formed due to the, the movement of tectonic plates? That is called the tectonic plateaus. And the, like the Turkish Iran plateaus and the Iranian plateaus and the disrupted plateau. That when the river passed through and river eroded the land due to the river erosion process when the river passed through from the center of a plateau this year. And river eroded the land and cut into the deep river valleys. This type of the plateaus are known as the dissected plate. Again, I repeat it. When the river passed through at the center of a plateau and cut down the plateau into the deep river valleys, that is called the dissected plateau. Like the example of the dissected example of the dissected plateau at the Brazilian plateau, Colorado plateau, is an example of dissected plateau. And the last is a volcanic plateau. That those are the plateaus are made due to the volcanic eruption are known as the volcanic plateau. Now, what is the importance of this plateau? The plateau generally the large amount of minerals are found in this plateau region. The second is the plateau is the one of the tourism place that is the scenic beauty for it. And in the plateau region also there is the agriculture. For the agriculture, some crops they can grow nicely in this region. So that are the importance of the plateaus. Now the next is the valley. What is the valley? The lowland area between the two mountains are known as the valley. The valleys are also different types like the rift valley or the river valley, glacial valley or the flat eroded valley. Now what is the rift valley? The beach valley formed beside the block mountain. It's known as the rift valley. And the second one is the, that the example of the rift valley is the great rift valley. What is the river valley? Beach valley it formed due to the river erosional process. And cut into the V set, this valley is known as the river valley. And the third one is the glacial valley, which valley is it formed due to the glacial erosional process and the U-type shape that is called the glacial valleys. And the valleys are also being very important for that. And last is the plain. Plain means that those are the lowland area. The height is almost almost same with the sea level. That is called the plain region. Now this plain is also very important that because the plain area is very preferable for doing the agriculture process because the land is very fertile. And the second is the plain area is can very easily for the very helpful for the transportation and communication purpose. Here the people can set up their industries and factories very easily. So these are the main things that why the plain area is very important. And where the industries factories set up very easily and the climatic condition also very good. So for that reason the plain area is very favorable for living the human beings. And the in world, the large amount of density corporate area is found into the plain region. And the next is about the what are the different types of plane. The first one is the structural plane. The which plane is here, they already have the structure, like the particular type of shape and size, like the rectangular, triangular, circle, any particular type of shape and size that is made by through the nature. It's known as the structural plane. And the second one is the depositional plane. 
that when the which plain area is formed due to the repositional process of the river, here and the glacier. This process is known as the this type of plain this type of plain area that is formed due to the repositional process are known as the repositional plain. And the third one is the erosional plain. Which plain area is formed due to the erosional process of the year being a water that is called the erosional plain. And except these, the other landforms are being also present in the world. Like the those are the peninsula. The peninsula is a landform. The three sides cover with the water, but one side connected with the mainland. That is called the peninsula. The same the island. The Indian Peninsula, Malay Peninsula is the example. Island is the is the land masses that all the sides surrounded by through the water. So that is called the island. Like the in the Andamanipur Island, Sri Lanka Island. These are the examples of island. And the last is the isthmus. The isthmus is the narrow land masses that join to large continent. Like the isthmus of Panama. That join the North American South America. So these are the different landforms that have to be learned from this chapter. So we have to here that next day we discuss the questions of form.